Are you serious? Are you serious? The violence, the murdering, the shooting, the insanity in the streets of Chicago have really has really gotten out of control again this weekend in a nation's sanctuary city, a city where where uh, weapons are illegal to have. It's become a killing zone. 40 people shot between Friday evening and Sunday morning. Did you hear what I just said? 40 people shot. 10 of them are dead. And that's just from Friday evening to Sunday morning. Matter of fact, over the 4th of July weekend, 100 people were shot. 15 of them died in the senseless murdering, the massacring, the madness, the mayhem, the meanness, the maliciousness, the malice, all on the streets of uh, Chicago, Illinois. What is Rahm Emanuel doing? Right in the backyard of former President Barack Hussein Obama, we cannot stop the shooting, the killing, the violence. I'm not talking about uh, Venezuela here. I'm not talking about Baghdad, Iraq. I'm not discussing with you Damascus, Syria. This is not Islamabad in uh, Pakistan. We're dealing with Chicago. What? We're going to talk about it tonight. We're going to pray about it tonight. We have to stand up against it. Matter of fact, the anti-violence activists and a nine-year-old kid were among the 10 people fatally shot in Chicago over the weekend. And the latest in a rash of killings that has shaken the third largest U.S. city in America and has raised questions about how to stop the bloodshed. Matter of fact, 40 people shot in Chicago between Friday evening and Sunday morning, including Willie Cooper, who was 58 years old, who ran a Southside Community Center. According to police, man trying to help those on the streets Willie was preventing the violence, trying to find jobs for ex-cons, working in the community. He was om- he, all he wanted to do, all, he was almost named the mayor of 95th Street, a person who truly wants to stop the bloodshed. It's out of control. It's out of control, and it's out of control. And this is exactly what the Bible said would happen in the last days, as it was in the days of Noah. So shall it be in the coming of the Son of Man. And the earth was filled with violence. Every imagination on men's hearts run evil continually. God said, my spirit will not always strive with man. Are you saved? Jesus is coming back, okay? Let's just get, re- let's get real. Let's get real about this. Christ is coming to get the bride. Are you going to be left behind? Do you realize that the apocalyptic events that are taking place right now are all pointing to the second coming? They're all pointing to the return of Christ. They're all pointing to the church being caught up forever to be with the Lord. They're all pointing to the judgment seat of Christ. All of them are saying, this is it. This is it. This is it. 